This is Colin Selleck of Binghamton University. This lecture is on absolute dependent motion analysis of two particles. It's from chapter 12.9 in Dynamics by R.C. Hibbler. Today's objectives, you will be able to relate the positions, velocities, and accelerations of particles undergoing dependent motion. It is important to establish the relationships between the various motions in order to determine the power requirements for the motor and the tension in the cable. For instance, if the speed of the cable P is known because we know the motor characteristics, how can we determine the speed of the mine car? Will the slope of the track have any impact on the answer? In many kinematic problems, the motion of one object will depend upon the motion of another object. The blocks in this figure are connected by an inextensible cord, that means it cannot stretch, wrapped around a pulley. If block A moves downward along the inclined plane, block B will move up the incline. In this example, position coordinates SA and SB can be defined from fixed datum lines extending from the center of the pulleys along each incline to blocks A and B with clearly labeled positive directions. If the cord has a fixed length, the position coordinates SA and SB are related mathematically by the equation SA plus LCD plus SB equal LT. Here, LT is the total cord length and LCD is the length of cord passing over the arc CD on the pulley. The velocities of blocks A and B can be related by differentiating the position equation. Note that LCD and LT remain constant, so their derivatives are zero. So here's the differential equation. The rate of change of S of A with respect to time plus the rate of change of S of B with respect to time is equal to zero. Therefore, the velocity of B is equal to negative the velocity of A. And if you study this diagram, you will agree that is correct. The negative sign indicates that as A moves down the incline, B moves up the incline. Accelerations can be found by differentiating the velocity expression. So it's a very simple matter to show that the acceleration of B is equal to minus the acceleration of A. Consider a more complicated example. What is the motion relationship between blocks A and B? The red colored segments of the cord remain constant in length during motion of the blocks. Position coordinates SA and SB are defined from fixed datum lines measured along the direction of motion of each block. Note that S sub B is only defined to the center of the pulley above block B since this block moves with the pulley. Also, H is a constant. The position coordinates are related by the equation 2SB plus H plus SA equal LT, where LT is the total cord length minus the lengths of the red segments. Since LT and H remain constant during the motion, the velocities and accelerations can be related by two successive time derivatives seen here. When block B moves downward in the positive direction, block A moves to the left in the negative direction. Please remember to be consistent with your sign convention. So here are some procedures to solve dependent motion problems. To relate the dependent motion of particles moving along rectilinear paths, no change in line of direction. First, define position coordinates from fixed datum lines along the path of each particle or point that moves. Different reference lines can be used for each particle. Clearly indicate the positive directions. Relate the position coordinates to the total cord length. Segments of cord that do not change in length during the motion may be left out. If a system contains more than one cord, relate the position of a point on one cord to a point on another cord. Separate equations are written for each cord. Differentiate the position coordinates equations to relate velocities and acceleration. Keep track of signs, very important. In this figure, the cord at A is pulled down with a speed of two meters per second. Find the speed of block B. So what's our plan? There are two cords involved in the motion in this example. There will be two position equations, one for each cord. Write these two equations, combine them, and then differentiate them. So define the position coordinates from a fixed datum line. Three coordinates must be defined, one for point A, one for block B, and one for block C. Write the position length equation for each cord. Define L1 as the length of the first cord minus any segments of constant length. 
to find L2 in a similar matter for the second chord. So chord 1, SA plus 2SC is equal to L1, and then chord 2, SB plus SB minus C is equal to L2. Eliminating SC between the two equations, we get SA plus 4SB equals L1 plus 2L2. Now L1 and L2 are constant lengths, so the derivative is 0. So we can take the derivative of this equation with respect to time, and we can relate the velocity to the two blocks. So the velocity of B is negative one-fourth the velocity of A. So therefore, it's minus 0.5 meters per second. The negative sign indicates the velocity of block B is upwards. Here's another problem. The rope was drawn towards the motor M at a speed of 5t to the 3 halves power, where t is in seconds. Find the speed of block A when t is equal to 1 second. So we can draw a datum line through the upper fixed pulleys. Two coordinates must be defined, one for block A, which we'll call S sub A, and one for the cable S sub M, as it's drawn towards the motor. So defining SA and SM as shown, the position relationship can be written as 3SA plus SM equals L. Taking the time derivative of the above equation to relate velocities, we get 3VA plus VM equals zero. Since the rope is drawn towards the motor at a speed of 5 t to 3 has power meters per second, at time t equals 1 second, the velocity of m is 5 meters per second. Therefore, the velocity of a is minus 1.67 meters per second, and that's in the upward direction. Here's another problem. Block a is moving downward with a speed of 4 feet per second, and block c is moving up at 2 feet per second. Find the speed of block B. All blocks are connected to a single cable, so only one position length equation will be required. To find position coordinates for each block, write out the position relation and then differentiate it to relate the velocities. A datum line can be drawn through the upper fixed pulleys and position coordinates defined from this line to each block. To find an SA, SB, and SC as shown, the position relationship can be written as SA plus 2SB plus SC is equal to L. Differentiate to relate velocities, and we come up with this equation here. Making the substitutions, the velocity of A is 4 feet per second, and the velocity of C is minus 2 feet per second, and we can calculate the velocity of B as minus 1 foot per second. The velocity of B is upwards. This concludes 12.9, Absolute Dependent Motion Analysis of Two Particles. Next, 12.10, Relative Motion of Two Particles Using Translating Axes.